uh, kind of precipitated. Uh, well, the, the, the big thing with, uh, you know, with spring is for, for the uh, players that are, that are here right now, it's, it's the chance to, you know, evaluate them and make sure that we have them in the right spots. And so, as, you know, I come out here, you know, every day and, uh, and then watch the film, the same with the coaches, and I'm looking to see how we can enhance, you know, our team uh, on either side of the ball. And as we sat down and, and we evaluated and, and we looked at things, uh, you know, I just felt that, you know, we even AJ to corner uh, because of, you know, we did have some injuries, but let's go ahead and take a look. And he looks a little bit more natural, you know, there. So we thought that was a good move. And I, and I see him doing some things uh, so far in the two practices been there that I like. Uh, and then as far as moving, uh, moving Nate, you know, one of the things is, you know, on defense, you know, it's get off from the ball and take your gap. You know, there's not as much, you know, on offense, there's all kinds of calls that, have, you know, that are made. There's a lot more that has to be processed and all those sort of things. And just felt that, uh, you know, watching him and then also with the scheme that we're running defensively, you know, he would be better suited and would probably be more productive for us, you know, playing at, uh, at nose guard. So we did that and then, you um, in terms of the yeah, offensive I mean, I mean, line, uh, just felt that you know Nick Clem was playing you know, better than Ryan Doyle, and you know Ryan's just you know wet behind the ears still, and but he'll get better. And then uh, you know trying to make sure that we've got the guys that I feel that can be tackles for us. I think we have that identified. And so now you know inside, you know you're looking at um, you know at Sal, at Bennett, at. Uh, Josh and Deontay, well, what's the best combination, you know, to play at the two guards and then Gary Harak is in there as well. Uh, so now, what's the best combination that you can get for those three positions out of those guys? So, you know, we, we've seen well, Bennett's been there, work with those two guys. Well, now let's put Sal in there and now let's see Sal work with uh, Deontay and, and Bennett and then uh, Josh and Deontay and then Josh and, and Bennett and see how it all unfolds. So, you know, it's it's hard for me, <coughs> you know, just looking here after practice, I'll have to go watch the tape, but I didn't think, I didn't see anything that was a, a you know, glaring weakness or anything like that. Do you anticipate any other experiments or moves <coughs> beyond these? Never say never, you know, but uh, uh, I, I don't think so, you know, from where, from where we are today. Um, but again, it's 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 a constant evaluation. But I I, I like those the changes, all the changes that we've made, and um, and like I said, I mean, constant. But I, there's nothing that's in my head to say, hey, this might be a move, or you know, that might be a move. So I, I don't anticipate it. What's your injury update? How's JJ fine? Well, JJ was out doing some things today. Um, you know, Alex just kind of, you know, has a bruise. Uh, you know, hopefully, I, I doubt that, we, you know, he'll be back out here uh, this week. You know, maybe hopefully next week you know, just to, to gain some strength. You know, back, uh, you know, Cole, you know, uh, like I said before, it was a, you know, they told me two to three weeks. Uh, so, you know, I don't see him this week or next week probably. Uh, and then, um, yeah, who else? I think that's, I think that's it. Oh, is AJ, is he Francis, is he, is he full guy right now? Yeah, he, AJ Francis. yeah, AJ's fine. I mean, he just, on Tuesday, he doesn't get out here till late because he has class. Oh, okay. So he's, uh, he's in class, so he, he comes out late on Tuesdays. Uh, but I think everybody, all the other guys, uh, I think that's all the, uh, you know, all the, all the injured guys, you know, Matt Robinson. Yeah. You know, he scrimmaged the other day, but he just didn't hit anybody. So we just, you know, and the, the officials didn't uh, blow the whistle when he tagged off and the offense got a touchdown. So the defense was mad at me, so I had to put up with that. But uh, we're going to keep him out here doing that because it, it helps us because of all the communication and the calls that he makes back there for us. It's, you know, it's uh, very good to have him out there. He knows how to practice with the yellow jersey on. <laughs> We're getting better, you know, uh, we're getting better. Uh, I thought today was a little bit better than the other day. I mean, now I think, you know, we should start to see the execution, you know, pick up and we should start to see the uh, uh, mistakes, mental errors going down because we're not installing 
but we still got a we still got a lot of work to do and uh, you know a lot of things to work on and you know we're just gonna you know Tuesday and Thursdays just really work on the fundamentals the technique you know work on you know executing the plays and the schemes and then you know let them you know go out on Saturday and you know play the game on the field and we're gonna conduct it just like a real game with the coaches in the box and. You know, doing it that way, so you know they get used to it, and then plus it also helps us to identify you know who those leaders are going to be, who they, you know who's going to step up and, and take charge. Have you seen a difference in Devonte this spring over what you'd seen over the previous year? Uh, yeah, you know I, I, I see a guy that's uh, worked extremely hard and is um, is more focused, you know, in terms of what he wants to get done. You know, he has. Uh, you know, he has really good ability, and you start to see that coming out. Now what we've got to do, what he's got to continually do is continue just to be consistent. But he has, he's, he's, he's uh, much you, different. You, you sense that he's eager just to kind of finally tap into what everybody's kind of said that he's had ability-wise and just kind of show it finally in a lot of ways? Yeah, I, I, I really do, and, uh, you know, he's, he's shown that. He's worked hard. I mean, and that's the whole thing is I think with you, when you work hard and you prepare, you know, I think what will happen is he'll even have more, he'll have a lot more confidence than what he had before. And I think any time you have more confidence and you're even stronger, you know, that's going to allow you to play at a different level than what you've played at before. What's CJ doing well and what's he not doing well in the new offense? Well, I, I, just, I, just, I just think that, you know, I mean, there's, there's so much thrown at him. You know, I think he's, you know, he's, you know, there's a lot because of, you know, what we're doing. But... You know, I think that uh, I thought today. I thought he threw the ball pretty well today. Because again, I think the thing is, it's now it's, he's got a chance to really grasp, you know, it all. And now we've got a chance to do some things with him in terms of uh, what his he, he can do. I mean, some of it's just <coughs> still technical with him. You know, he's got to he's got to stop overstriding. You know, so he's got to focus and concentrate on that. And then, you know, he's just got to he's just got to kind of relax and just be a little bit more. Won't be so. Uh, Perfect. He's trying to be perfect, you know, in terms of with everything he's doing, and I think sometimes that's cluttering his, his mind a little bit rather than just. But I thought he was much better today uh, as the practice went on. I didn't think we started real well, you know, offensively, but then I thought we got better as the as the day went on. And that's the biggest thing, you know, we're trying to look for is trying to get that consistency. You know, be consistent from the, you know, the first period to period 24. Same thing with when we get the scrimmage. Just be consistent. You know, throughout the whole day. And where do you see him kicking the game right now? What are, you, what are your thoughts on running throw, and punter? And well, and you know, we haven't done a whole lot, you know, other than just some really uh, fundamentals. We'll get into more of that uh, on Saturday where we'll do a little bit more live, you know, punting and see how he responds. I mean, he's he's shown some good things, uh, you know, in practice. Uh, but again, I, I'm not happy with the consistency, you know, because every once in a while there's a, you know, there's a shank. You know, and we want to eliminate those. And uh, but you know, today he started off. He started punting the ball really good. Got good hang time. Got good. Uh, had good distance. Um, and then we hit a hit a spot where, you know, we didn't uh, you know get that same consistency. So that's what we're working you know with him on. I think that uh, uh, Michael Tart. We haven't done a whole lot with the field goals. You know, just more in scrimmage situations. But in terms of the extra points the other day, you know, he made all those. Uh, and then in terms of the. Uh, you know the operation on PAT field goal. Uh, you know Greg Archer. I think he's done a really good job. You know with the snaps, and then you know Nate's our holder, and you know, we didn't have any issues there. So um, you're not you're not going to be in terms of special teams. Uh, you know you're really going to try to find out who are those guys that can contribute for you. You know on teams and uh, get a list of those guys. You know as you go into the fall, but you know we won't really do a whole lot of live things. You know, here in the spring, from a special team standpoint, other than PAT field goal and you know, <coughs> you know, and where we fair catch it and stuff. So, Clem is your starting left tackle now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doyle's too. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, given this year's recruiting class, um, what would you say the state of Maryland recruiting is, and what would you say you would like its ceiling to be? Well, well on a local level, of course. Well, the thing is, I thought I thought we, uh, you know, we made a lot of progress. Uh, you know, in state this past year, uh, and what we want to do is continue to make more progress, and you know, get as many of the the, the young men who uh, we feel you know have the the talent and have uh, you know the uh, the academics, the work ethic, and the character to stay at home. And that's you know, uh, the ceiling's always going to 
want to go as high as we can. And we, we like to get everybody, you know, that we determine, you know, as a fit here for Maryland. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but, you know, that's what we're going to strive, strive to do.